Hello there, this is your girl Jewel, the Instapot Queen. So tonight I have another video and what we're going to be doing is uh, making some candy apples. And candy apples is a process. I made a video two nights ago about the cleaning of the candy apple and how it needs to be cleaned. So these are some of the ones that I clean and this is how they look. And if you cut them up inside, they are absolutely gorgeous, pretty and white. So, we're going to use a 6 for one recipe, which means 6 cups of sugar, 4 cups of water, 1 cup of Cairo syrup, corn syrup. We have our gel. I'm going to do red. We have our white food coloring. And we have our bubblegum flavoring. So these will be bubblegum, look, can't talk. These would be bubblegum flavored apples. So let's begin. So we're gonna put our six cups of sugar. I already weighed this out, but I'm just, you know, just pouring it in here because I, I weighed all the ingredients out so the video would not be so long. So this is my six cups of sugar. Put that to the side. This right here is my four cups of water. I sure hope I can get all this in this pot. Mm. And this right here is, I think I can, one cup of corn starch, corn syrup. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Because it's going to it's gonna be candy, so it's going to melt down. Let me drain that. Okay. Now, this is a process, I'm here to tell you. So, you have to like stir and stir, and you want your mixture to be like water. Okay, and I got a little trick. I've never seen nobody do this. I came up with this on my own. I'm like, you know what? I ain't gonna be stirring this because this is a lot of stirring. So I'm gonna do all this right here first. We're gonna stir it for a little while. Try to get everything blended in. Stir. Gotta stir a lot. Then we're going to use some white gel coloring if you if you're doing white apples you just use white but since we're using color if you do not put this white uh wilton's food coloring and it can be hobby lobby white is white to me they say wilton is the best i've used it all and i don't see the difference if you do not put this white in there you'll be able to see through your apples your apples will be translucent and you do not just a few drops you do not want your apples to be translucent and I always use this red so I can tell if I'm a baby see through my apples. So I'm stirring, get a white milky. Just stir. I mean, you really have to mix this good because we're talking about a lot of sugar and cornstarch. So this is some sugar, sugar. So I'm gonna stir. And I do all, I stir this before I'm gonna put it on the um, this induction oven. I've never used this before I bought it, but I love it. I normally use my gas range, well, not my gas range, my gas top. And um, I've been using this, but it cook, this cooks pretty fast, but the gas cooks fast too, so I'm stirring and stirring. Now, what we're gonna do, you can put your coloring in there last or before, and you can put your flavor in there now or when it gets to 280 degrees. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put my color in there because we're dealing with red, Red and black and blue are the worst colors to deal with. You don't know exactly what color is going to be. It takes a lot sometimes to get to the red. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more, and then I'm gonna stir. Okay, okay, that's that, and that'll come up the same. And I'm gonna die. I should have had another bowl over here. Okay, we're gonna stir this and stir it. I'm still going to show you the trick. I know you're wondering what all this right here is. I got a lot of stuff out here. Let's stir this up. Stir it. Stir it. And then I'm going to put some more red in here. And you don't want to put too much food coloring because if you put too much food coloring, your candy mixture will be thick. It's going to be sticky. And you're not... Oh, this is pretty. Mm, I had to start ready, ready, ready in that centers. Um... Your uh, candy will it, it, it'll be too thick and it'll thicken up on you before you can dip all your apples. I have like 40 apples to dip. 
and I'll probably do another color after I use all of this can up. I have to cook this can about 30, 35 minutes. But like I said, I've never used this induction, so we're going to see. Stirring it up, stirring it up, and it's like water. And you can add a little bit more water if you want to. I got to get that out of there. Make it. Okay, now that's a little, that's, that's, that's pretty good. I don't think I need to put any more. I might put just a tad bit more white, just a little bit. Okay, that's it. When I first started doing the apples, oh, Lord have mercy, I'm still learning. I tell you, I had a time. Because <laughs> they kept sticking. My house was, I guess the humidity has to be cold, so it's like, I have like six or five degrees in here. I have the window up. It's cold outside, so once I get ready to dip the apple, they should be perfect. My husband don't like it cold. Like, oh, it's cold, but it don't bother me. Okay, now I'm doing that. And this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this in there. I'm put a little water in here because when I finish, when I get through dip, when this temperature gets hot, you'll need this to put your thermometer in. So what we're going to do? We're going to take this right here, my immersion, and this is what I do. I'm going to plug this bad boy up. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to close my lids. Okay, so this is my mix right here. This works perfectly. Uh, I'm just going to do it. After tonight, you may see people start doing this. I've watched hundreds and hundreds of videos, and I have never, never seen one lady or guy use this emergent. Not one. Everybody I've ever seen is staring. Everybody. So I just came up with this. I'm like, I'm not doing all this staring. I like to work smoke. So I have I'll we have all the mixture, and it's pretty. And it's not translucent. I won't be able to see through my apples. Okay, so got that. Now I'm gonna go ahead on and put my flavor. This is one dram. And when you're doing, doing a big batch, you can put the whole little dram in there. If you're doing a half a batch, you need to only have half because this is highly concentrated. You can get this from Hobby Lobby, Wilton, Wilton's or Amazon. But I got, um, I ordered off Amazon because uh, Hobby Lobby seemed to be a little bit pricey with theirs. It actually comes from the same company, but when I ordered, just it, for some reason, it's a little bit cheaper. So this should be a pretty color. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put this on this oven. oven. It's getting late. I done did a lot of stuff today. So we're going to put it up here on this induction. I'm going to turn it on. We're going to turn it on five. I have my temperature. You have to use this. You cannot make candy without a thermometer. You cannot. You have to have a candy thermometer. I have that one. I have this. I have my gun that I've used and showed on some of my other videos. So I know how I know about how long this will start bubbling. Once it start bubbling, then I put it in. I don't necessarily have to put it in right now because I've done candy apples enough to know when I need to put it in. It has to be 300 degrees. Do not take it off past 300 degrees. Do not let it go past 300 degrees. You do not want to burn your candy. And like I said, I'm not using this induction um, stove top, but it normally gets pretty hot. So we'll uh, take a break, come back in 35 minutes and um, I will show you the results. We'll start dipping. And about these candy apples, I have some of them with a the little bling bling, and then I have some on the table with just a uh, regular stick. So until then, I'll see you when we get back 35 minutes. So, hi there. We're back again with these candy apples. The mixture has reached 300. It is time for me to take them off this stove. Take the hot candy because it is hot. It is time for us to dip. I'm going to put it right over here and let some of the bubbles die down a little bit and stir it a little bit up. It's hot. I'm telling you, we're talking about 300 degrees. You got to be really, 
really careful. Okay, and you gotta dip pretty steady, pretty steady. So, hope I can get all these dip up. Okay, now, I'm gonna start dipping. I'm gonna just start doing this right here. Bring them up. Get my pot over here close. Ooh, that's all pretty red. That is so pretty. Scrape. You're going to scrape, scrape. So you have a flat bottom, but you got to do it steady. Got to do it steady. They say rock steady, rock steady. Dip. Bring them up. Bring them up. Get this right here off. I don't know how many I'm going to dip. Okay. All right. Dip. Bring it up. Bring it up. They are so pretty. You want, a, you want a, a bottom that's flat. You want a flat bottom. Just twirl it, twirl it, because you want to dip fast. You don't want this stuff to stick on you. Stick on it. It gets, everything will get real glued up and you won't be able to dip nothing. Okay, put it there. I love this red. Oh, I love this red. It's so pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay, we're going to dip a few more. I mean, I'm going to keep on dipping because I have 40. <laughs> but I'm not going to have this video going for 40 apples. Put it here. Dip. Dip. Okay, so you see me dip one, two, three, four, six apples. I will keep on dipping. And make sure you subscribe. Like, share, and hit that notification button. Hello there. This is your girl, Jewel, the Instapot Queen. So for the past two nights, we've been working on candy apples. Yes, candy apples. The blue and white. The blue candy apple. The white candy apple. And we have the red candy apple. We use Cairo Light Corn Syrup on the red candy apples. And then we use high sweet powdered corn syrup, powdered corn syrup on the blue and white candy apples. So we want to see what's going to happen. The powdered corn syrup helps um, have a longer shelf life uh, for the candy apples. They won't break down as fast. And the, the powdered syrup is actually for when it's humid and my house is always humid. I try to get it cold. Candy apples like cold. They do not like humidity. So we're going to see what happens and which one breaks down sooner. Thanks for watching my video.